Jack and the Incredibly Mean Stalk by Gemma Carey and illustrated by Kelly Caswell. Once there was a boy called Jack. He lived with his mum in a tiny flat and he believed in magic. One day Jack sold their television in return for some magic beans. Jack's mum was so angry that she tossed the beans out of the window. Before long, something began to rumble. What is it? said mum. An earthquake? said Jack. Jack and his mum ran outside, just as a little green shoot burst from the earth. The little shoot became a thin stem, and the thin stem became a chunky stalk. A crowd began to gather nearby. Fee! said the stalk. Fi! it cried, growing taller still. Fow fam! it yelled so everyone could hear. I smell a boy and his stinky mum! Jack's mum immediately scuttled home to take a bath. That was a bit unkind, said Jack to the beanstalk. Well, it replied, I'm not any old beanstalk. I'm an incredibly mean stalk, and I plan to live up to my name. Do you know what else I can smell? What? asked Jack. Your whiffy feet! The crowd laughed and Jack blushed. Luckily for me, said the mean stalk, I'll be growing higher and higher, far away from your festering toes. Jack felt miserable. He sat with his mum, looking at the space where their TV used to be. He was disappointed that his magic beans had created such a monster. Meanwhile, the mean stalk grew up and up. Oh, Jack, it teased. It's beautiful up here. What a shame I'm the only one tall enough to see it. You could let me climb up, said Jack. Never, replied the mean stork, and it carried on growing. One day the stork spotted a giant's castle nestling in the clouds. Fee, fi, fo, fam, roared the mean stork. I detect parps from a giant's bum. The castle's drawbridge creaked and lowered and a giant appeared. Please don't be mean, he said bashfully. I'm ever so lonely up here and I'm entirely friendless. Might you be my friend? Never, replied the mean stork and it carried on growing. Wait, said the giant. Do you know anyone who might be willing to be my friend? I know a pongy boy called Jack, said the stork. You two are probably smelly enough for one another. Would you be kindly and allow me to climb down and meet him? asked the giant. Never, replied the mean stork. But the giant wasn't ready to give up. He wrote letters to Jack and sent small presents floating down through the sky. Jack read the giant's letters and received his thoughtful gifts. He wanted to thank him. Please, please can I climb up to meet the giant, Jack begged. Never, said the mean stork. Just look how tall I am. I'm taller than a tower of giraffes. I'm taller than a whole rainforest. I'm taller than a stack of skyscrapers. I'm the tallest thing on the planet. Soon the mean stork grew so tall it soared through the Earth's atmosphere and burst into space. Fee, fi, fo, fam, it cried. Now I'll have some real fun. The mean stalk floated around, drifting between the stars and the planets. And after a few days of floating and drifting, the stalk realised how quiet it was. Suddenly, it felt very, very alone. What am I doing up here? It thought sadly. The mean stalk wound its body down and down, round and round, back to earth. It saw how happy everyone was. They haven't missed me at all, thought the mean stalk. I'm useless. Being mean is useless. The mean stalk nudged its head through Jack's window. Jack, it said tearfully, I want to stop being mean. But I don't know how. I have a few ideas, said Jack. Nice to meet you, Jack, 
You must be the giant. Wee! So helpful. Very useful indeed. Thank you, Mr. Meanstalk. Wait a minute, said Jack. We can't call you a Meanstalk anymore. You're kind and helpful and extremely useful. What shall we call you instead? Hmm, said the not mean at all stork, thinking carefully. I quite like the name Stanley. Very well, said Jack. Thank you, Stanley. So Jack and the giant, Stanley and everyone else lived happily together. And Stanley never called anyone Stinky again. The end.